Hi, all of you. <clears throat> this is Gil. Today it's January 13th, 2024. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today, we all went to the thrift stores just because it's fun going there. They, they, my kids and everybody, they all got like things that they like, typically clothes, you know, name brand clothes for like really cheap, you know. And for me, I found this TV. It's a Sylvania. And this TV is from 1982. Because as it's going to show, I'll show you right now where it says that. It's uh, June 1982. <clears throat> That's when that TV was manufactured. And so this is a true vintage TV. It's a black, it's a collar TV. You know, back in that day, we would have killed to have a TV like this in our bedroom, you know. But in reality, I, I, on June of 1982, if I remember, a TV like this would have cost at least maybe maybe $200 to buy. And that's $1982, you know, so back then. So it would be equivalent to like almost $500 in today's money, like if you adjust it to the inflation. Yeah, it's, it would, I, would, I would estimate $200 because of this. You know, it was digital, you know, like back in the day, it was, it was like, it was a big thing to have something that was digital, but it, like the old TVs had the analogs, um, turn knobs, but this was one of those, so you could see that I just turned it on right now. Well, well, I'm gonna demo the TV right now. Like, re remember when we used to turn on the TV and then we would hear that? Well, like if we were connecting a VCR or, or the Atari, remember this? We would have, like, if we had it on channel 3, but of course, you know, we can have it on channel 11 or 13, and of course, shows it's come up uh, t since analog TV is dead. So, I mean, the only thing we can use these TVs right now is to p hook up something onto it. I mean, um, channel 3 is the only thing that works in today's times, sadly, you know, so. But anyway, along the way, <clears throat> at the thrift store, I found this camcorder. I mean, this is just like this one. The one that I've been using in the last few days, a couple weeks. This one is actually a Memorex brand. It's the same thing, exactly the same thing. It's just like the RCA CPR 250, but it's branded Memorex. I never seen a Memorex camcorder before, but it's the same thing as the, um, as a RCA CPR 250. It's a Memorex SM1000. This one has some extra features that my CPR 250 doesn't have. So yeah, I mean, but everything else is basically the same, you know. And so, I mean, I, te and then, of course it didn't work when I first got it, but, but I fixed it. It was a rubber band. I'll show you what the rubber bands look like when they're, that they they're like these are the rubber bands that came from this see they get like that they they get melted like along when they're stored a long time see this one was priced at 35 dollars but i got it on a half off half off today so 17 dollars i paid for this 17 but it was just the camcorder and the battery only you know but and then this tv was 20 dollars but i got it at half off today also, but at another thrift store. It was twenty dollar, but I got it for ten. So right now I could demo what I mean, plugging in like the camcorder and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna demo a cassette. So that I was I was cleaning up the heads, and this is the way it looks inside of these things. VCR. I'm gonna play this tape. There's the other things I got at the thrift store as well. So yeah, I'm gonna demo it. So I got it, I fixed it, and it works perfectly right now. So the little rascals. I don't think I saw this movie before. Yeah, so I'm just demoing it. I mean, it works perfectly apparently. I mean, 
after fixing it, spending like 10 minutes replacing the rubber bands and it's perfect now. And the TV works perfectly too. Can you imagine that this is TV from 1982 and it still works. I mean, it's more than 40 years old, you know, yeah. So the little story about my life, you know, back in our day, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, back in our day, I do know that in 1981, Christmas 1981, my dad actually kind of bought us a TV, but it was like a little um, 12 inch black and white TV that I think he probably got at Kmart or something. And if I remember hearing $100 for that little black and white TV, my dad got us that for, for Christmas on 1981 and then we were so so because we 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 weren't really that much into tv but it was nice to have one you know like in, but it was a black and white it was nice to have one but it was kind of pointless to have anything like a tv like that for two reasons number one for us why why it was pointless for have for us to have that tv in our room number one because my dad would Get, get on us when we're watching it, you know, when we're watching it, like, when, when it should be our bedtime, you know, like, he would be controlling us, in other words, that's number one, and number two, because shortly after he got us that TV, he just took it away, I mean, he wanted to just keep it for himself, you know, my dad, you know, my dad was that kind, you know, apparently, you know, like, he kind of, like, thought about himself, you know, I mean, I don't like to have to say it, but that's, that, that was the truth, though, I mean, Anyway, so uh, that was a little story about the TV, but of course it, it would have been nice to get a t to have a TV like this in our bedroom, you know that like if we didn't if my dad wasn't so strict or wasn't so um, um, what do we call it Groucho Marx in those days. But what would have been what what would have been more grand is if we would have had the Atari hooked up on a TV like this in our bedroom. That would have been grand, but I mean. To have a TV like this, you know, like, it would have been like $400 in today's money. And today's money, well, I know, like, TV like that would have cost about close to $200 in, in the early 1982. Well, maybe, maybe, now this was probably maybe about 179 or something, you know, like, that's how much, if I remember how much collar TV, collar TVs were pretty expensive back then. Maybe it was $200, you know. <coughs> And then, of course, well, besides the TV story, well, we we got an Atari, like, in 1982, by the way. Our first Atari got it in um, March of 1982. That was our first Atari. So, I mean, my dad bought us all an Atari, you know, like, back in the day. <laughs> so, anyways. Well, anyways, uh, back to this camcorder. I got this one, um... <clears throat> got this one for um how i call it for 17 bucks and it works i mean after fixing it and then the tv then in the last week i bought videos at the thrift stores you know <laughs> grease well this is actually more like a <clears throat> this is like from the 70s or from what i would know i don't remember i don't know what exactly year this tv this show came out but well, these are newer ones, I mean, like, and then this is a random video I got, because I like things to do with the Bible. Yeah, so, Monsters Incorporated, Little Rascals. Well, anyways, <clears throat> so, okay, well, I hope you liked this video about my thrift store finds. It's, it's fun. I love going to thrift stores, because it's just fun, I mean. I, I love the days when I find something cool and, and I get to play with them, you know, like, and reminisce my days, you know, like when I was a kid in the 80s, you know. So, yeah. All right. I hope you liked this video. Today, it's um, January 13th, 2024. All right. See ya.